All right. There's a conversation that's kind of sort of going on in Huff University Facebook group. It's kind of sort of going on. And I was so busy this morning because I was going to delete it because I didn't really think that it pertained to what we do in Hustle University. So I was like, you know what? But some said, check it out, read it before you jump into it. So I did that. And it does indirectly pertain to many things that we talk about. Essentially, and there are many articles how many men are just, you know, for the lack of a better, just to make it simple, many men are opting out of career, family, getting married, having kids. There are men out there, are men out there who have vasectomies, who've never been married, don't have any kids, and they don't plan on it because of the onerous system that exists. Now, what I want you to do, because like, this is one of the new things. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe, comment, leave. Uh, be sure to get your free course, your mindset course. But essentially, a lot of the things that I talk about in terms of what's going on in the world and you know just how I look at stuff, it really, really, I understand why it's happening why these dudes are opting out and there is a you know we're going to use some very simple terms there's the alpha male there's the beta male and then there is the cuckold alpha male roar king of the jungle okay there's only so many alpha males to go around period at any point in history if you have a contingency of a thousand men there's probably going to be one so Every woman wanting an alpha male is like everyone wanting to be a billionaire. In theory, it's possible, but the practical application is slim to fucking none. So, essentially, you have people wanting something that is atypical. The alpha male is atypical. The beta male is the norm. Beta male, nice dude, does his thing, meets a woman, won't really cheat, just is there but the thing is he's a little boring he's a little soft he's a little because I, I have a piece that i wrote and then once again uh for the new people there's if you want to see that stuff you got to join hustle university and be a part of the conversation different content different places different content here on youtube different content in my updates and a different content in hustle university facebook group so part of that because it was funny there's this book um the Sexual Paradox by Susan Pinker. If you want to educate yourself on what's going on, this is a pretty good primer. Because she talks about it in very real terms. And, you know, what happens with boys and the real gender gap. It will surprise you. Okay. Here's another one. Living in the Age of Entitlement, the narciss Narcissism Epidemic. You can get these on Amazon for the low, low. Once again. Okay. So you read this book and then narcissism can apply to anyone, male, female, whatever. But you read this book, then you read this book and it's dots start connecting like a mofo. So you've got that. And I'll get back to that because this is this is really a good book. Get it. it it's spend the time to read it. All right. The real truth about success. Now, if you notice, a lot of these books are not like big name books or stuff you heard of before. There are many people who are putting out fantastic information, great information, and you don't even know about it because your information funnel is filtered. Certain things are directed towards you, and there's certain things you just need to hear about, don't won't hear about, you don't know about because the filter doesn't want you to know about it. Filter doesn't like it. Okay, uh, more in this line. This is probably one of the best books I've ever read. Because essentially, in a nutshell, humanity is irrational as fuck. And that's just reality. It's, it, it's just, when you read it, you're like, yeah, you, you start like, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. So you get that. So these books, just to give you a little okay. guidance. These books should go together. This, prediction on irrationally, narcissism. All right. So how should you read these books? You should read this book first. Because this will help you understand how to make money. I know you're like, what? Wait a minute, that has nothing to do about money. 
one of the things that you have to understand, and this is why I talk about dating with sales all of the time, is the parallels are so strong. And if you understand one really well, you'll understand the other really well. Have you noticed that the best salesman in the gar in the office or the office, the corporation, the division, whatever, frequently they are like the best, they're, they're pussy hounds a lot of times because they have people skills. And I said the best ones, the really ones making the sales, not the ones you expected me making sales, but the ones who are really making sales. Frequently, these people are really good at dating, whether it's keeping a long-term committed relationship together or getting all the pussy or dick that they want. Really good at it because they understand psychology of humans. And this book will help you tremendously with that. All right. So, Education of Millionaires. This is another book. I'm giving you an education here. For less than probably 50 bucks, you can get a serious education. Get this book. And I've mentioned this before. And I'm holding it up because people are like, you didn't mention any numbers. Like, hold it up because I want to write it down with my paper and my paw is moving slow. Get that book. This is about business. And this guy is crazy, but... This is a good book to read, Solitary Fitness. This guy became incredibly strong in prison with no workout equipment. And it's more of a mental thing. When I give you these books, it isn't so much, because this is a manual. He's got exercise routines and all kinds of stuff in there. But the thing that you also walk away from this book with is a mindset primer. Mindset. Seriously, seriously deep. Okay? And this is an old one. Still works. Gorilla Selling. Now... Let's take this and part them out. Put these here. Put these here. Real truth about success. So you've got these guys, and I'm going to hold them up there so you can see them because some of the people are like, right, hold it. Stop moving, fool. All right. Now, that's application. That is tools, techniques, strategies. Okay. This is. Target location. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that. This is. 5%. 5%, 10% of success. And I'm going to say it again. This is 5, 10% of success. It's right here, the strategy techniques. Okay? Predictably irrational. The narcissism epidemic. The sexual paradox. <laughs> and that's about 90%. I know you're like, what? Wait a minute. That's so out of proportion. Shouldn't success be with the business books? And the thing is, once you figure out, and this will help you figure out who you're dealing with. See, this is, you know, I had a, a serious thing happen last week. And it was, you know, I called up a friend and I said, dealing with the correct information. Every time when I get 100% of the information I need and I get it very fast, I get very excited because it doesn't happen. Usually I'm operating on 75% of the information because when I get 100% of the information I need in like 30 minutes, that is just, it excites me. I got a chubby. I'm that kind of dude. And essentially, once you start understanding human psychology, then you'll start understanding how to make money because the two are very, very closely related. Very, because as I talk about in the video that's in Hustle University, is deep. It's real deep. And when I started to understand this stuff, I started to become more successful across the board in different areas of life. But once again, let's put these down. Going with this, I highly urge you, if you're a male, to get this book. Get this book and read it. And you will like, I'm not crazy. So there is something going on. And it addresses it because there's uh, the men's rights movement. And what will happen is if you're a guy and I've always been that guy that made chicks pay for dates. And some of my friends tried to shame me. It's like, what what kind of real man going to make a woman pay for a date? And, you know, this dude, now I'm going to give you his story because he hates me now. He was making I think 50, 60 grand a year. And he's dating this woman who was making about 150. Every time they went out, he paid. And he actually put himself in debt. He stressed and struggled and she saved her money. And I told him, I said, look, we boys, I think you are a damn fool. You are being used. And one of the reasons I said that, because he wasn't fucking her. Let me say this very clearly. If a woman likes you, really, really likes you, you don't have to take her out to fuck her. 
that goes against a lot of stuff. I know many of you heard. Like, no, it's true. Trust me on this. Trust your uncle Glendon on this. It's true. So he takes her out. He goes ahead, gets in trouble, gets some credit card debt. She dumps him and he's saddled with all his debt. He spent all of his money and you know, he's mad at me because I told him the truth. Everyone else is like, you, you just being a good man, Waldo. You being a good man. You just being a good, solid, hardworking man. You know, you being a protector and a security and a provider, right? And he was really a puppy dealing with a shark because I knew who she was fucking and he wasn't buying a damn thing. Matter of fact, she bought him a car. But that's another story. And so essentially, there's a lot of mis construed narratives in society and when people blindly operate on these narratives at some point they're going to crash and burn and then they may need therapy or something else because it's just so out of order but essentially just giving you a book you know a reading list a quick reading list some things for you to jump on for some things for you to absorb and be sure to join the facebook group be sure to join hustle you facebook group i'll put links wherever they need to be so you can just jump in there and get these books and start educating yourself and preparing yourself to deal with the world the way that it is because essentially men are opting out because they're finding it very challenging to be economically viable and I don't care what about any of this 70 to 80 year social engineering about equality I give a damn about it because the hind brain, that primitive brain, that thing that makes you do shit is running shit. And you cannot circumvent thousands and thousands of years of DNA embedded coding in seven, eight decades. I don't see it. That's my opinion. I don't see it. I think it's foolish. And I know, and when we when we get into the dating aspects, because I'm gonna and I wasn't gonna do this, but the way that I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you some stuff. Because I got a friend, and when I started showing him month after month after month, and he was just like, how the fuck are you doing that? It's like, I speak hind brain. I speak trigger. I speak roar. I speak all that. Because when you get to the point, if you were raised a certain way, and then you start to do this stuff, and you're like, wait a minute. Because it creates incongruency. You're just like, why the, why the fuck is this shit working? Wait a minute. This, this, no, there's something wrong. No. The hind brain is in charge. I might put that on some t-shirt. The hind brain is in charge. But seriously, when I start talking about that, because it's super easy once you understand the concept, but it's a monumental journey to embrace the concept. That's the thing that's crazy. But be sure to get these books. Be sure to join Hustle University Facebook group. And if you really want to get your life skills on, I've got a link right here, probably at the end, where you can join Hustle University Life Skills Academy. There's some stuff there. There will be more stuff coming. And essentially, I'm going to talk about this type of stuff in depth. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really debating on how I can do certain things because I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But you're going to like it. You're going to like it. So right now, we are dealing with stuff about sales, and then we're going to go with credit very, very shortly. So with that, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.